right, guys, we're back for uh, link number 13. I hope it's number 13. If it's not, well. Okay, so um, we're going to be playing over a cadence that's very, very usual to you. The 1 4. But the 1 4 dominant. So it would go like this. Kind of like this. I'm just gonna play this if, if 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 I only knew two chords, right? So D dominant seven. Or you may practice it with uh, twice the length for each chord. So that's twice the length. Okay, what you can do as a blues player, or as a jazz player, or as a rock player, well, we're gonna mix. We gotta mix up together everything that we know, crank up the distortion, and uh, let's let's try to come up with something that's interesting. Uh, so in the key of D, that would be my first lick, I guess. So one, two, and once I hit that D, the rhythm would start. So it's one, two. understand what I'm saying, so one, two. Okay, so that would be a very, very cool introduction link. So, let's see what I can uh, come up with. Uh, okay, so you have that. And then... And this, bam, that note, that sound right here indicates me that I'm right on the fourth chord. Oh, perfect, it's right there. A G, a G, G. For those who, who just don't know that, G like that is correct too. Nice sweeping, like John Petrucci. That's his favorite. Uh, sweeping uh, technique. He plays that all the time. I love Sean Petrucci, he's a great player. Okay, anyway, so from here. And then I'm on the fourth chord, and then I'm going to do. Okay, that was pure luck. Cool lick, actually. So, uh, okay, so, okay, let's do the whole leg, if I can remember it. There we go. And then you would go back to for example, okay? But um, <coughs> here the lick is this. Let's go back to this lick again. 